Hey guys, Jackie, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm getting ready for brunch. As you can tell, makeup is on. But my hair is looking a little nappy today, so we're gonna freshen her up. I'm actually so excited to use this on my hair today. Mermaid Hair actually sent me one of their pro waivers. I have it in the large size, it is the 32 millimeters. And here she is. I love how pink she is. She is gorgeous. So in the box, you do get the wand as well as a instruction manual. And it does come with a heat glove. I love that everything is in pink. It's super cute. I usually don't use a heat glove, but she's cute. So we're going to use her today. I have already prepped my hair with some heat protectant. So I'm just going to section her off first. We're going to do top and half layer. I don't have that much hair. So usually two layers is enough for me then securing her on top with a haircut and then i'm just gonna separate it into like two little sections like that what i love about this is that there is a digital display here so it tells you exactly how hot it is it goes from 180 degrees fahrenheit to 410 degrees fahrenheit honestly i don't think anybody would need to use 410 but um each to their own i have mine on 200 right here and i'm just gonna separate this into like two smaller portions and i'm gonna start with the back there is no wrong or right way to hold the barrel, but they did give a few options in the manual. So I'm going to fit the hair in between the barrels. And I'm going to hold her for about 5 to 8 seconds. The glove does come in handy because I could like kind of touch it without burning myself. Which I kind of am clumsy about, which is why I don't usually use heat tools because I'm like a klutz. And I usually burn like my earlobe or like a finger or three. So the glove is a must. So here is one section done. I'm going to put her in the back and continue. Honestly, if you have thin hair like me, I would say 200 to 220 degrees Fahrenheit is good for you. Um, because it does crimp the hair pretty well. I don't see any smoke coming out of that and I don't smell anything being burned, so that's a plus. So here is one side done. I really love how effortless that was and I really love the big barrel because it gives me like such effortless like waves. I am in love. Okay, I just realized I put my glove on the wrong freaking hand. Okay, one thing to note is that the device is kind of heavy because it is like such a large barrel. So I would say for someone who has like a full head of thick hair that might be an issue for y'all but for me it's not too big of a deal for those girlies who have a full head of hair you might have to grab a snack and have a break in between another thing to note is that the edge of the barrels are actually heat transfer proof so they're not hot to touch at all even without gloves you could definitely touch it with no issue I really love it so far. I'm gonna let the rest of my hair down and I'm gonna finish the top part. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it up to 220. And right off the bat, you could tell the temperature is like warming up to whatever temperature you said to. I find that super convenient. Should you do a middle part? Okay, I also love how the glove is like super long. It does get up to like the mid wrist area. So I feel like you do get a lot of protection with this glove. volume at the top so like i said there are two different ways you can hold the barrel one with the clamp where your forefingers are and then the second way which is like the flip side where the clamp is where your thumb is the way that i'm holding it it's actually going to give more volume at the front section or like the beginning of any section you could alternate between them there's no issue with that i feel like if you do alternate between the strands you might get a bit more volume but because I do have like rather thin hair, I do want more volume, especially at the top. So I'm going to hold the barrel with the clamp facing outwards. That there's a bit more volume at the top, which is what I'm looking for. On to the next section. I 
do have a bit of trouble fitting the curls back into the barrel as I move down the strand, if that makes sense. Like, you do want to make sure that you're not going against the curl that you just did because you'll just be like straightening it. So that is the only issue I've been having so far because I can't really like gauge where I should like place the barrel next. But practice makes perfect. So with a few more rounds, you're going to be a pro just like me. For the bangs, I'm going to separate them actually. Right about now, my arm is getting kind of tired. For my front bangs, I'm actually going to flip it upside down so the handle is where my thumb is. And then I'm just going to crimp it ever so slightly. There you go. So cute. Okay, I'm going to do the same technique on this side of my bangs. Oh my god, that is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna let my hair down, hustle it a little bit. Okay, so here's the final look. I really am in love with how the front pieces look because I did alternate the barrel a little bit, so it gives us a little extra volume. But here she is. I literally look like I just came back from the beach. Okay, this hair is giving me like Kim K vibe. Okay, guys, I am in love with the look. It was so effortless, and I really love how the front pieces turned out. I was kind of worried about it looking botched, but I really do like the alternating barrel technique. Wow, I am in love with how the hair looks and it's so shiny like oh my gosh i did not put any product in it yet i only have the heat protectant on wow it makes my hair look so healthy and if you guys want to try the mermaid pro waiver i do have a coupon for you guys listed down below save some coins and to finish off today's look i do need an outfit for brunch i have two options in mind let me show you okay so here's the first outfit it's a little boring but i'm not really sure how i like this shade of green with the gray it is a little chilly so i do need a cardigan and this one is kind of like porous so it'll be pretty light but warm at the same time the dress um she's cute it's giving me like picnic vibe but i just haven't worn this out yet and i really want to make it work but looking in the viewfinder the colors are a little contrasting because the green is more like a pistachio like I'm thinking more sage, but this is like a pistachio. But I do have another option um, in the same color scheme, but this one is a little bit more like dressy because it's like a cow neck moment. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm gonna try her on and we'll see. Okay, so here is the second outfit. Um, it is a little more scandalous because it's like a cow neck moment, but I think it's a little bit more casual with the cardigan on. Also mixed feelings. I don't know how the color is looking on camera, but in the viewfinder, it looks pretty like white so i feel like this looks better versus like the pistachio green that was a little out there i don't know let me know down below what you guys think i am running a little late so i'm just gonna put on my jewelry and i'll be out the house my earrings are from Swarovski. my rings are from cartier and pandora so here is the final outfit for bag i am using my patik sec plot um it does come on a strap but i just feel like a grab bag is a better moment that's it for today's video and i'll see you guys in the next